Hello my friends. It is that time again for the end of the month wrap up of the pens that I have used. I have my list right here and I have my pens laid out and I am going to show you what I've used. Let's get to it. All right, so I wanted to let you know that this is actually going to be my last video filmed here at my desk where we live in uh, Louisiana because in two days time we are moving. So um, I don't know how my next video setup will be. I don't know when my next video will be, but I promise it will be not too long after we get there and um, we'll see how that goes. So this is my ink recorder my ink uh, ink and pen log that I keep every month. I write from the first of the month all the way to the end of the month. I write the pen that I've used and the ink that I've used and I'm going to set this list right over here where I can see it and now I'm going to show you what I have used. The first pen I used this month, don't roll away, was my Twisby Eco in white, and I use that with Sailor Gentil Tokiwamatsu. As you can see, it is actually inked up right now because it also comes in later on in my my pen. Um, my pen, yeah, it comes in later on again. So I am going to actually put this right where it belongs. Right here at the back. Yep. Next pen I used was my Moonman One Kai Mini in Green Swirl. And this is one of my favorite little pocket pens ever. I have another one in clear, which you will see here shortly. Does that go there? Should I, am I doing this? Am I just kind of moving them a bit? I don't know what I'm doing yet. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there for now. The next pen I used was my Jinhao Century 100 in green marble, which I really, really love. Writes wonderfully. I have the fine nib. And I used KWZ Discovery Green. And that's actually one of my favorite inks to use in this pen. It's actually pretty much the only ink I use in this pen. And you will see this pen come in... Um, later on during my during my rotation too. Let's see, where was it? Aha, it is right here. And there we go. <laughs> the next pen I used was my um, Quebeco AL Sport in Paladin Evergreen. And I used Newler's Rome Burning in this one next pen I used was my Wingsung 699 in amber, which I really love. I love the way it writes. I love everything about this pen. So I think, you know, someday when I'm able to get a Pilot Custom 823, I'll like that too. But for the time being, I really like what I have. This will come back in. Let's see, where should I put this one again? Because it comes back as well right after that one. Okay. <laughs> the next pen, I have to keep turning pages, the next pen I used was my Lamy Savari in Savannah. This is a fine nib, but it actually writes like a medium, so I just call it a medium. The next pen I used was my Retro 51, a one-of-a-kind custom not one of a kind or custom. Oh, yeah, it is one of a kind. It was a, a one of a kind pen that Retro 51 did, and they didn't make any more of them, which is very sad because I love this pen. Very great pen. The next pen I used was my Moon Man C1, and this is a fine nib. And it just has the proprietary Moon Man nib, which I actually feel writes really smoothly and I really like it. The next pen I used was my Caveco Sport in Dark Olive, and I used uh, Pilot Oroshizuku Shinryoku in this pen. 
have it in a fine nib and it's one of my favorite pens to write with. The next pen I used was my Hongdian 1841. And I used Diamine Earl Grey in here. And this writes so smoothly. It is just, it, it's a wonderful pen. I, worth every penny, writes one of the smoothest pens in my collection. The next one I used was my Lamy Safari in charcoal. And I used Diamine Oxblood in this, and I actually filled this twice. So I filled it, wrote it dry, and then I filled it again and wrote it dry again. So I filled it and wrote it dry. So this takes like two spots. <laughs> the next pen was my Moonman One Cry Mini, and this is the clear one. I discovered you could actually put on a Caveco Sport uh, clip to it. So I'm going to get another sport clip to go on my other moon map. The next pen I used was my Wing Sung 3003, which I know is a Pilot Prera dupe, but these are, the 3003 pens were, are unbelievably soft, smooth writers, like literally will make your jaw drop. So I used Earl Grey in here, and I really, really like that pen. Next pen I used was my Hong Dian in Black Forest. This is a fine nib. And a lot of people will show you their pens and like, oh, it's already flaking and stuff. And I don't know, I wonder if you can see that. Yeah, flaking and mine hasn't flaked at all. The only place that is right here. And it's because I dropped it. I don't know, can you see that? Yep, there it is. And it's because I dropped it. I have been using this pen since I got it. Uh, almost, let's see, almost a year ago. And I have no other issues with it at all. My, my nib is still in great condition. So it's a really good pen. Very worth the money. I like it a lot. The next pen I used was my Clear Pilot Kukuno, which was given to me by the lovely Heather Mattern. Thank you so much. It has a fine nib, and I really, really love the way this writes. It is so fine and just so pretty. And the little smiley face right there. The little smiley face is so cute. I love it. The next pen I used was my second Wing Sung 3003 in blue. I actually gave away this. These came in a pack of five, five different colors. And I gave away the other three just because I wanted to be nice. So I, I kept the gray one and the blue one. So this is what I used next. And inside of it, I used Sailor Manyo Haha, which I had a sample of. Next pen I inked up, let me turn my page, was my Hongdian Forest in Rainbow, which is absolutely beautiful. This is a fine nib. I would say it's a fine nib, but it writes a little bit more, like right in between a fine and a medium, but it is so beautiful. And for a $20 pen, this thing is solid. It is, and it's a great writer. It, no hard starts, no skipping, no nothing. Fantastic, fantastic writer. The next pen I wrote with was my Macchiato uh, Caveco Sport. And I wrote with um, Cala Nostalgia Sierra Mist. And as always, I love my Caveco Sports. They're pretty great. And here it is again. <laughs> I told you it would come back up. I wrote with my Jin Hao Century 100. And at first I inked it up with Lady Rose. I wrote with Lady Rose in my um, Dingbacks notebook and it just wasn't showing up very, very, it wasn't showing up very well. So I changed the ink out to once again, KWC Discovery Green, which is like the fallback ink that I always use in this. And I wrote it dry. So this is the second time I, the second time in my rotation that I used and wrote dry my 100. The next pen was my Caveco Brass Sport 
and in here I used Pilot Orochizuku Yamabuto. The next pin again that now these these last four pens here um this one i have inked up again i used this this was right after i used my brass quebeco sport then i inked up and wrote dry my um jade twisby eco um, as you can see it is inked up again because it has come up again in the rotation after that, I inked up again my Amber Wingsong 699. As you can see, it's empty now, but so this was the last time it was in the rotation. I then inked up and still have inked up my Wingsong 699 in blue with a fine nib, which I really, really enjoy. I have this inked up with Parker Quink in blue black. The next pin I inked up was my Twisby Vax 700R in Iris with a medium nib. And I have this inked with Pilot Orochizuku Shinryoku at the moment. And the last pin, which was the first pen that I wrote with this month, was my is my white Twisby Eco and a fine nib. And I currently have it inked up with Sailor Ink Studio 237. So these pens right here are inked up completely they have full fills on them because I didn't want to make this move to Florida and then have to immediately refill pens um, that I have in their cases so I my husband bought me two little pen cases um, for my pens they're just these little cases from uh, Amazon and they open like that so they are 12 pen cases, so he bought me two of them, and I actually have space for three more pens. So I have greatly condensed my pen collection. But, so these I will be writing with um, for the rest of the month, the last two days of the month, three days of the month, and then I'll be writing with these into April as well. So let's bring down in order my pens that I have written with this month and that is actually my entire collection of pens. So there we go. We have my pens in here and then the other pens over here and then the two spots. These two spots are where my two or my twisbees, my two twisbees go. And then we have my other pens that are in this one and then more spots right here and um, these are the pens that are carrying me from the end of March into April. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, short trip through the through the pens that I use this month and if you do if you did enjoy it I please please give me a like. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you enjoy my videos and you want to help my channel grow, please consider visiting my Ko-Fi link in the description where you can leave a tip in the tip jar and it will help me know that my videos are pretty good, that I'm reaching people, and it will also help over time build up some funds so that I can acquire some new things for content, for new videos to deliver to you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in Florida. Bye-bye. <laughs>